Hi, Steve. Hey, Cal. How are you going? Very good. good. So we've got lots of people wondering how they can get more clients through the door. Okay. Well, when we're thinking about our photography businesses, there are basically only three ways to grow a business. And the first is getting more clients. And that seems to be what most photographers focus their all of their energies on and they're putting money into marketing for brand new clients all of the time. Now, obviously that's essential, especially to a growing business to, to be looking for new clients and getting more clients. Um, it is the most expensive way to grow because we have to put money into marketing. We also have to put time and energy into um, educating those clients as to the value in the services that we produce. So they take a lot more energy and a lot more time mm -hmm. to um, bring bring on board clients that are totally going to value what we do as an industry. The second one is to use, get our clients to use our services more often. And this seems to be an area where photographers tend to ignore because there seems to be some myth that clients won't use us more than once in any given period of time. And you know, most photographers believe that could be two, three, four year period, or they got to wait to have another baby before they can use it, which you know is totally not not the case. Now I know from you know running my own business, my own studios, and with the clients that I'm training all over Australia, that if we give them the opportunity to use our services again, and if we give them the tools that they need to come in again, so you know some sort of marketing tool. Um, that they can come in and use our services again or suggest other reasons for them to come in, then they will use our services again. It's a far easier way and a far easier road. Um, and we should be doing all three at once anyway. But ignoring that, that segment of your marketing and ignoring that segment of, um, of your business isn't doing your business any justice. The third one is to increase your average sale. And that seems to be what most photographers truly struggle with, is increasing their average. Most people don't know what their average is to start with. Most people don't seem to believe that people will spend more money with them. What I've found in most cases is that most photographers don't have the product for people to buy from them. So really, if you don't have product for people to buy, it's very difficult for clients to then spend money with you. So having product is essential and believing um, that uh, people can afford your product seems to be another big obstacle. A lot of photographers really have a cap and it's their own personal cap on what people can afford and they don't um, believe that people can afford any more than they can. Now, you know, when you think about it, there are lots of different products on the, on the market. And if there's one thing, you know, that I keep reiterating to, to all of my clients, it's not about you. It's totally not about you. And um, you need to believe that, you know, there are lots of things that you can't afford that other people will spend money on. So understanding that and making product available that is above what you can afford and allowing people the opportunity to purchase some amazing product from you, you know, a collection or some wall art from you that they will love to own and have usually tends to be the biggest obstacle. So you know, focusing on you know, having the product, allowing people to spend their money is absolutely essential um, for you to then increase your average sale. So if you've got your hand in all of these different areas or something happening all in all of these areas, then it's much easier to have a constant flow of, of marketing, a uh, constant flow of clients. I think too that a lot of people in the industry, it's almost like they're running a race and they leave you know, the marketing to the last minute and they try to run um, the race to their marketing, once something stops, then and their clients, the clients totally drop off. Then they'll think about marketing again. Marketing needs to be almost like training for a marathon, in that you do something consistently all the time. So my question to, to the people that are struggling getting clients in is, what did you do today towards your marketing to get those clients in, to get your clients to use you more often? 
Have you thought about your products? Have you created a brand new product that people can buy from you to increase your average sale? As well as, you know, have you done some marketing to get new clients? Have you marketed to old clients? Um, are you consistent in that? So usually because we're creative, we try to also be very creative with our, with our marketing and totally ignore what's easy to do. So things like birthday mail, are you sending birthday mail out, you know, maybe with an offer or maybe just to remind them, show them some love. Are you, for those wedding photographers, have you sent anniversary cards? All of these simple things seem to be ignored in our business and it's the easiest way to build up loyalty and to increase your business. So thanks so much for asking that question. Thanks, Steve. That was fantastic. <laughs>